Hey guys, Victor here. So I'm getting started on our new project, our GTV build. I'm getting ready to undercoat the fender liners with some shut material. So let's get started on this. Mike here from SoFine, along with Carol. We're here to do the GTV. Get this interior in this thing, get this thing going to SEMA. Welcome to the GTV2 SEMA Bug Dino Session. Let's make some power. basically Chip Foo's custom wheels, uh, six and a half wide with specially made GTV caps. All right, check out one of the features on our car here. This is our number one of 50 GTV gauges. Good idea to monitor what's going on with your motor. This is our GTV deck lid that we we're putting on our bug. Um, this one is one of one. There were 50 produced. If you got one of the 50, congratulations. This is our 1915 130 horsepower built by Jack Sacchetti. Close, 130 horsepower on our dyno. Mike and Carol from SoFine came down and installed everything for us. They stitched our Porsche style seats uh, with our flat fabric from uh, Spirit of Le Mans. Check out the one piece windows that we put on this. We have them labor to drive with MP, GTV. So check out one of our top selling shifters that we're reissuing, copper plated. Our GTV reissued decal kit. You will be able to buy this if you do like it. I'm Tyler. And I'm Larry. And I'm Victor. And this is our 2023 SEMA build.
JH Wheels. We're here at SEMA 2023 with my 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. This Beetle, we're getting some awesome stuff done. We've got a pinstriper here. This is Miss Cassidy Velvetfoot. We're sporting some awesome MP parts and we're just having an overall great time. One of my all time favorite upgrades we've done to this Beetle are adding the control arms and the brand new MP disc brakes. These are awesome. The best stopping power I've had ever on this car. And the control arms come with the ball joints already pressed in. Love them, easy to install, and quite frankly, they look pretty good too. How you guys doing today? It's Mike from So Fine. I'm going to here to show you a couple things about this interior that you may not know. Let's just check this out. This chose a really nice red, which kind of came out of the concept of the Spirit of the Le Mans tartan plaid that we used in the inserts. And we also used it down here in the pocket for a contrast. We thought it was a really nice way to enhance with a little bit of double needle diamond stitching that really brought out a lot of the plaid colors. Looking at the chosen seat that was um, out of the catalog of MP, which is a race trim seat. Which is the same thing, decorated it out with a really nice vinyl, nice contrasting thread with the tartan plaid, and it really brought it into quite the nice look. One more thing we did add to this is just a little bit of comfort. It's a manual pump, lower lumbar, right in your back spot so you can just bump it up get you a nice fit a little tighter fit to the seat now when we've gone into doing the headliner which is just a stock rack top headliner we chose a really nice color fabric nice vinyl to match the same as the seats to match the color of the car all of this combined together is something that SoFine really strives at and making everything come together with the vinyls, the tartan plaids, the German wool carpet, the oatmeal German wool carpet. Bring it all together. SoFine can help you with this if you need that. I made it for Megs here, and I couldn't have done it without MP's help because I just brought the raw, flat chassis to their shop, and we put the entire chassis together with all MP parts. I'm just so excited. You know, Megs helped me out with the body, and of course, Rod Emery helped me out with all the 356 parts because the whole theme behind this car is what if the donor car, rather than being a Volkswagen, was a 356 Porsche? And we got it here, but I couldn't have done it without Myers Banks help, Rod Emery, and of course, Empty. And while I was working with them, they asked me if I could help them out with their BRM wheel. So I took their cast wheel, we stripped them, we shot painted them, and then brought them back. They made a new cap for it, but they're absolutely beautiful. Hello, my name is Mike Flores, owner of Ideal Auto Body in Fullerton, California, and really happy to be a part of uh, MP's project build on this car. They came to me. Uh, they had it actually painted somewhere else. Uh, a lot of uh, imperfections and little things they didn't like and asked me if I could do something with it. A touch up, I told them, you know, I don't know that I could touch it up, but I could repaint it complete much easier, so we did. We basically went around, smoothed the whole car out, blocked it, fixed some of the imperfections, painted it inside and out, and uh, polished it to a high gloss. Uh, this is the kind of work that I do on older vehicles, but basically it's the same work that I do on everything. A very high quality urethane paint with a clear coat, and the color, they wanted to stay true to something that looked Volkswagen, so this is what we came up with. Uh, and if you're looking uh, for paint jobs, older vehicles, insurance repairs, motorcycles, I do everything. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Ideal Auto Body, Fullerton, California. Thank you. Yeah.